Anything can solicit an angry response. Cold soup at a restaurant. Societal injustice. Teenager who mouths off. Someone attacks your kid. Who here has been angry? Go ahead. Who here has been angry over something important? Go ahead. Who here has been angry over something not important? Upon, now maybe in the moment you're like, this is the most important thing. There were one slice of cheesecake. I saved it from dinner. Who ate it? At the moment, it might seem like the most important, crucial thing in your life. Yeah. This is important, though. Anger is a God-given response within a broken world. Jesus got angry. The prophets got angry. God and godly people get angry. But how do we not get derailed by the anger? How do we not sabotage ourselves and wreck our lives, our families, our marriages in the presence of anger? How do we keep from blowing our stack? It says this in Ephesians chapter 4, 26 through 27. If you're familiar with anger, this might be a familiar passage to you. Ephesians chapter 4, 26 through 27. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Give no opportunity to the devil. Right, just from that, I, I learned a couple things that I can be angry and not be derailed by anger. I can be angry and not blow my stack. I can be angry and not sin. The Bible gives me permission to that. Be angry, do not sin. I have to process my anger. I have to reflect on it. I have to step away. It says, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Deal with it. Address it. What is making me angry? I, I need to express it correctly. I, I can't give the, it says, an opportunity to the devil. My anger cannot become an open door to advance evil's agenda. You can become, did you realize, you can become a hired gun and join voice, forces with evil spiritual forces and break humanity even more because you haven't learned how to deal with your anger. You can become a tool of evil. Right before this passage, it says that we are to put on the new self created in the likeness of God. You are to look like Jesus as you respond to the world. That means I'm going to do what I said I would do when I said I was going to follow Jesus.